Hi and welcome back. I'm Simon, this is Milotech, a brand new channel. I'm here to help you make better choices in tech today. Coming up on this channel, it's about RGB converters. What's RGB you say? RGB is red, green and blue and it makes all the flashy stuff in your towers, on your fans, on your, your motherboard. Coming through the eras on um, RGB, you had RGB analog systems which supported 12 volts. Now we've got addressable RGB that's actually 5 volts. My motherboard that I use at the moment, which is a uh, Gigabyte Aorus K5 gaming motherboard, only supports uh, 12 volt RGB. It also has a 5 pin, which also is RGB, but it also supports white. Addressable RGB is definitely the favourite at the moment. It means that you can um, address each pixel itself or each LED I should say um, with a different colour. So my motherboard at the moment like I say it's only got a 12 volt headers out. So I bought this converter just to convert my uh, 12 volts coming from my motherboard to support my CPU cooler and if you haven't seen my video yet I've got uh, an installation of the CPU cooler. I'll link it up there or there. I'll put it in the description below as well. And everything that's in the video today will also be linked in the description below. Right. Here we go. Bit of an unboxing as well. So. We've got RGB converter, we've got some instructions, and, and there it is. But like I say, I'll um, link everything in the description. So we've also got some cabling and a bit of a two-way sticky pad. Okay, box out of the way, packaging out of the way. It's 12 volt, green, red, blue, which is obviously RGB. And then you've got 12 volt, green, red, blue, RGB, with white, which is your 5 pin. And this is what I was mentioning earlier. You know, there's, there's, there's two different headers here. So you've got a 4 pin, which is very common. You've got a 5 pin, which supports the, the white. And uh, as you can see, it's a W down there. The fan that I have to install will be going in here, five volts. Now, they normally are still four pin headers on your addressables, but what you'll find is um, they have one of the pins will be blanked out. connect it to here but you will need a, um, a SATA which provides the 5 volts so you don't even need anything separate so from your your power supply that's in your PC just as long as you have a um, one of your SATA power connectors that's how you connect it in and that's where you get your 5 volts from because all your peripherals that are using SATA are all 5 volts makes things very simple then Let's get these cables out so you can connect it that way or you connect it from the four there and then you don't connect the wire and that's basically it you got your connection for your your 12 volt it's coming from your motherboard and you've got your 5 volt from your starter. And then what I'll do is uh, 
at, at the end of this, I'll put it into my system and I'll show you it working. And that's what we really want. The only thing we will need to do is find a home for it because it's quite small and slim line. Perfect. I don't want a massive thing, tra you know, transformer thing sitting around. So this is absolutely perfect. And it will sit in the back of the case with no problems at all. Um, and like I say, I'll get it all connected up and we'll, uh, we'll see it in action. So hopefully then all my uh, addressable RGB comes from my CPU cooler. As I said, if you haven't seen my video yet, um, I'll, uh, I'll link it at the end of the video as well. Look for your motherboard manual and see what uh, RGB you've got on there to see if you need one of these. Anyway, that's it. I'm done. I'm out of it. Thanks a lot. Take it easy.